All right, Aries. You guys are up next. All right, so this is going to be the preview reading for you guys. Uh, preview reading meaning any messages that's... <laughs> any messages that come out for you guys, I will share with you. Ooh, as promised, so Q and Capricorn will be the first ones out for this month's reading. Let's see what I can do with So we're going to start with the Earth Magic deck here. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, let's see what messages I have here. Oh, you have the Harmony of Radiance. I feel like there's going to be a lot of happiness coming in. I'm here, once you balance yourself out, your higher and lower self. Very much so. I can see the vulnerability part as well as being vulnerable with your emotions and somebody else. Uh, love interest. That will also come out. Generations. I'm hearing for some of you guys um, breaking curses as you move forward in your life. I'm hearing there could have been things that were setting setbacks as well. I heard setbacks as well from the past generations before you. There could have been things that haven't been done before you've done them. You could have been the first one you found to do certain things. Um, and, and I'm hearing that that has been like a burden on you. But at the same time, it has strengthened you. So try to look at it that way. Try to see the positives in that situation. And I understand uh, for myself because I've done a lot of things here, you know, as a person in my family. But it's because I wanted to push myself to be different, um, you know, and to do what I truly wanted to do. So some of you guys are doing the same thing. So we have the wind activation. So I feel like some of you guys, because of this, it's really pushed you um, into making different changes in your life, taking action, doing things to really get towards your dreams and your goals, unlike others have done in the past. Wow, look at this. The DNA karma. Crazy. So, yeah, like I said, some of you guys, definitely a curse that has been, like, on your family, but I'm hearing it has been lifted because you've taken action. This karma um, has changed for the better. So now you're getting, like, that good karma. Crazy, I didn't even look at the last card, the rain purification. What the freak? That speaks about cleansing, that speaks about changing things. So, again, you guys really have made this change this difference for your family. That's a powerful shit. That's a powerful shit. And it's not easy to do, but I feel like you guys are very strong. I'm hearing and very passionate for some of you guys. I'm very passionate towards your goals and your dreams, and even like your loved ones and relationships. But I feel like that has brought a lot of harmony, love, happiness to you because you make those changes. And you can actually see it, and like you'll be the one, everyone who's really gonna benefit from that. Then we have the better, little butterfly. Why are we even doing that? Something about like talking, trying to talk, the words are not coming out right for some of you guys. Or I mean, I mean, like tongue tied, so you're not really speaking your mind or your truth right now, and you really need to. We have the Butterfly Oracle Life Changes deck here, and we'll be up next. So, let's see what messages come out. Do -do -do. Changes. What other messages do you have? 
partner is like Jesus. Well. Thank you. We have sobriety. So you guys, for certain things that you have to deal with, um, this could be under drugs, alcohol, or pills, or something that really needed to let that go because that's clouding your judgment. Some amount of feelings. Some of you guys are doing this because of your feelings. You're trying to mask your feelings. Okay? As I like to say, that is a temporary fix that is not going to help you in the long run. It's only going to hinder you. So what you need to do is put that shit down. Okay? Give yourself a break. Even if it's not like a super problem, maybe you have a drink here or there. But really, you need to deal with the root cause of those emotions and really need to take that time to reflect on yourself. To do that on a silver mine. Look at that. And you also need to get some rest. So that's your advice right there. You know, you might need to change any career or you might have had a changing career. Some of you guys may have lost a job and that's why that retirement card card came out. And that can be a very stressful thing for you. Um I'm hearing like your emotions can be kind of all over the place. So you wouldn't drink and you wouldn't smoke and you wouldn't know whatever. I'm not hearing that song. You can know, it's all over the place right now. Like on like uh, TikTok, Instagram stories and stuff with the people song. I have to get her name. I don't know her name, but if you look it up, I'm sure you'll find it. Okay, like that song and the song here. Some of you guys are really masking your emotions and your feelings with drinking, with alcohol, and things of that sort. I mean, maybe people want you to just don't know, but again, like I said, that's just a temporary fix and you need to do something um, more to really get to the root cause of your situation. And really fix what's going on with you. Because it's an emotional thing. It's not, you know, actually the alcohol or whatever. And that's really not going to help you in the long run. Because you're still going to have the same emotions and those feelings if you do not deal with them. Thank you, God, for those messages. Alright, any other messages for Aries? This is going to be the positive message deck. Which I love to wrap up readings. So that's all that's given today. I didn't do it for the love readings, but I wanted to just use the love cards. Let's see. That's it. Too many fast because I'm running out of storage on my phone. And I don't want to mess up the weekend. <laughs> Alright, so this card. Oh, I love this. This is freaking perfect for this reading. Because that my faith has power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. Yeah, so like I said, some of y'all really in this process of healing or needing to heal. And you guys can do it. Okay, period. Yes, this is a good one too. Okay, it says attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation or mainly calls for help. So either this is you or somebody else that's really been, you know, separating yourself from other people or coming out of it with these feelings of like you know you're attracting people randomly like verbally even or you know you're in pain you're in fear or you're just you know you really judgmental towards yourself you know these could all be calls of like calls for help because you really are going through something emotionally you really need to deal with it and that's okay and it's okay i hear that song the definitely lovato song it's okay not to be okay some of you guys might need to hear that, okay? It's all right. We all have our days. We all have our days, our time, sometimes the months even, where we are at low points. But that's all part of our growth and how we are able to learn and process things. Um, how you process those things are all going to teach you more about yourself and your situation. So, that's just it. That's just all. Thank you guys for your love and support. Being patient with the last reading. Um, and also, thank you guys for your subscribes and your likes on watching my videos. Thank you. Thank you.